Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we're going to talk about the Nexus 7 keyboard today. I'm going to go over the options and show you how customizable it is within Google's Android system for iPhones and tablets. It's highly customizable and has some great options. So let's first start by opening Chrome, and I'll show you the keyboard. Now this is the default stock Android keyboard. So if you have a Samsung device, you may have a different type of keyboard. This is actually a Google Android or pure Google keyboard. So here you can see we've got the keyboard and we can type like normal. And you can see uh, there's Olo Clip. They make some lenses for some iPhone devices, things like that. And we can type my website here and you can type whatever you want. However, there is swipe built in. So instead of typing, I can just swipe to the, over the letters that I would like to type instead, and I get the same thing. You can do that for any text. So I could just say hello, and it's pretty good at predicting exactly what you want. Now you also have the option to speak that text. So I can do the same here. Hello, how are you today? And you can see it picked up most of it. It usually works 99% of the time for me, it may be a little bit different if you have an accent, but you can see that, uh, how are you today, question mark. And you can see it's pretty good that way as well. So we'll go back home, and that's the default keyboard. Let's go into some of its options. So if we swipe down from the top, we'll go to settings, and then we'll scroll down until we find personal and language and input. So within the settings, we have the normal language. We also have spell checker. We can turn that on or off. And then we have this little slider here or settings indicator that lets us know that we've got some more settings within these settings. So we can tap on that and you can just keep going until you find what settings you like. Here we have personal dictionary. And then below that we have keyboard and input methods. And below that we have speech, text to speech output, and then pointer speed. The thing we're going to focus on here is keyboard and input methods. Now here you can see we have the default Google keyboard. We also have the option for the Korean keyboard and a few others. And then down here you see we have Swift key trial. Now what that is is an app I've downloaded from the Google Play Store that allows me to change the keyboard. Like I said, it's highly customizable so we can change that. We'll just tap on this and We've got some settings within there, and within here, we've also got settings for Swift Keys keyboard as well. So we can upgrade from the trial if we really like the keyboard and we want to buy it. And then there's all these different settings you have as well. So there are many, many different keyboards you can try, but if we go back home, I go back to Chrome, you can see the keyboard has changed. So Swift Key is a little bit different. It does some more predictive text. And you can see you can do swipe on it as well. So it's really nice and it's got some nice colors as well. And so you can try out all of these different keyboards. And if you don't like them, you just simply change them. So we go back to settings. We go back to language and input. And then we'll uncheck here. And if I go back to Chrome, you'll see we're back to our stock keyboard. So the keyboard itself is pretty simple. And there are lots of little things you'll find if you go into the settings. The other thing I wanted to show you also is caps lock. So we've got capital here if we tap on it once. Tap twice, double tap, and you'll get this little underline line. And now we've got caps lock on. Tap it again, it releases caps lock. So pretty simple. There are lots of different little things like that throughout the operating system. But I thought I'd give you a quick overview of the keyboard itself and definitely be sure to check out some other keyboards. If you really don't like this one, Swift Key has a great amount of people that like it and has great reviews. So definitely worth checking out. If you have any suggestions or comments related to different things you'd like to see on the Nexus 7, please place those in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.